This next rhythm is on page 53 of your uh, Cardiac Dysrhythmia Interpretation Workbook. And this is uh, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, or PSVT, which is essentially identical to SVT. So SVTs are paroxysmal in nature, but when we see a sustained SVT, we simply call it uh, SVT. When we see the abrupt beginning of the SVT or the abrupt end of it, um, then we can say that it's paroxysmal, so paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Uh, but the two rhythms are essentially the same. So there's a rate change which is abrupt and it happens unexpectedly. That's what paroxysmal means. And the rate changes occur in a single beat, which is unique um, compared to, say, something like the change in heart rate that we experience when we have an adrenaline rush. So when you're driving down the highway and suddenly, someone suddenly cuts you off and your heart starts pounding, if you were on a monitor, what you would see is a change in your heart rate over the space of four or five beats rather than uh, what we see in a paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia where there's an abrupt change in heart rate in a single beat. The rates may increase to um, 100 to 250 beats per minute, but most often they're between the 140 and 250 beats per minute. So the, the criteria really is that the tachycardic phase only has to be, uh, can be as slow as 100 beats per minute. Uh, as long as we see that abrupt change. The P waves um, uh, may not be discernible during the uh, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardic phase, but as you can see, they're uh, visible here during the, uh, the sinus rhythm phase. And the PR interval is uh, normal where the P waves are discernible, but um, obviously uh, not discernible in the tachycardic phase. The QRS is usually narrow, and again, I, I put an exclamation mark there because if you saw uh, a sinus rhythm here, and then this tachycardic phase had a wide QRS without discernible P waves, then we would have to assume that's a, um, a ventricular tachycardia. Uh, but since the QRS is narrow, we can say this is a, a PSVT rather than a VT. And the ratio is uh, one to one where we can see P waves and the rhythm is um, regular in the underlying sinus rhythm. And again, it's regular here in the PSVT. So typically SVTs are regular and PSVTs in the tachycardic phase are regular. And just out of curiosity, let's see what the heart rate is here. So we'll start with the underlying rhythm first. So the heart rate, um, here's a QRS that falls roughly in a dark line. So that's 300, 150, 175. So the sinus rhythm part, the heart rate is about 75. Now if we get into the tachycardic phase, it's fine. Here's a, a QRS that falls in a dark line. The heart rate here is 300, 150. So here, uh, in the SVT, the heart rate is, or the PSVT, rather, the heart rate is 150. So we see an abrupt change from 75 to 150 beats per minute. That's really quite dramatic. And um, finally, the criteria for um, a PSVT, uh, short bouts of PSVT, it, there really only has to be three beats in a row. So let's see here. Um, Hang on a second, I'm trying to get my. So there's, uh, I had numbers lined up here, but um, they seem to have disappeared on me. So we have an underlying sinus rhythm here. Here's a sinus beat, sinus beat. And then we have this abrupt onset of uh, tachycardia here, uh, which is only three beats in a row. And that's really all you need as criteria for PSVT is three or more beats in a row. Um, in a tachycardic phase, it's an abrupt onset and uh, abrupt ending to that PSVT. And oftentimes, this is what we see with PSVTs, we see these short bouts of PSVT. Now, from a clinical perspective, uh, what's important to ascertain when patients have uh, either sustained SVT or uh, PSVT is what are their symptoms when they're in that tachycardic phase? Do they become lightheaded? Do they become dizzy? Does their blood pressure drop? What is their heart rate exactly? Do they become nauseated? Do they vomit? Do they uh, lose consciousness? In other words, have a syncopal episode? Do they become pale? So it's important to document and make note of the, the, uh, how, just how fast the heart rate is during those PSVTs, how long the tachycardia is sustained, and the patient's clinical presentation during that bout of PSVT.